In this video, we're going to try to brick the Squarp Hapix with the new 1.6 firmware. So on their website, it says the 1.6 firmware under optimizations here, it says greatly improved MIDI clock, jitter, and timing. So I loaded in the new firmware by loading it into the root directory of the SD card. Then I held down this encoder button and I turned on the power. So I entered in some notes here. So you can see it on the screen as well. And the Hapex is plugged into my base station too. I also have a synth sound running on the Deluge to see how well it syncs. Let's break the Squarp Hapex. So I'm going to press play on the Deluge. You can hear the different notes on the bass station as well as the notes here. Let's go slower. So we're going really slow tempos here. Sounds good so far. Let's go really slow. That's pretty good. Let's make it faster. So far it's good. And we're at 160 tempo. Let's increase. It's going faster. 288 BPMs. We're in 528 BPMs. We're going faster. Oh my gosh, we're at a thousand BPM and going faster. Oh my gosh, it stopped. We're at 2560 tempo. Let's bring it a little slower and start to hear it. Let's make it slower. There it goes. So it can keep up. Let's see what it says if we press BPM. It says 477 BPM. We're actually going at 2,304 BPM, so that just isn't keeping up with it. So let's go a lot slower. We're back at 500, 400, 300, 200. Still, we didn't brick it. That's pretty synchronized, I think faster just to see what happens let's go nuts all the way up we're at 1400 2000 we're at 3000 bpm it cannot keep up but somehow it stays back in sync when i go slower We weren't able to brick the Squarp Hapix. So eventually I'll be making more tutorials on the Hapex. I'm just working on the Polyend Tracker Bootcamp, which is also a great sequencer and it actually could keep up a lot more with the faster BPMs from the Deluge. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.